you're a fan. Okay, so you said that you're a huge, you were a huge Julie Andrews fan. Then what oh was it like for you to actually meet her? I still am. She is aware of the effect that she has on people. And I think like many people who have been in the public eye for so long, her graciousness, which is natural and inherent to her anyway, reaches out. So she's a great giver. So when she meets you, she immediately goes, hello, I'm Julie. How lovely to meet you. As opposed to, you know how sometimes you meet people and they like assume you know who they are. So they're like, yeah. oh, hi. And you go, oh, God, I don't know how to talk to them. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> she, she's also all about the work, which I am too, which is great. Mm. That, that's always the great leveler, isn't it? And, uh, you know, when you can talk to people, you say, great, we're both in this together. We've both got a job. This isn't about hierarchies or stars or whoever you are. We're just working together. And I remember the first thing she said to me was, um, so what do you think? I think we really need to talk to them about some of the protocols and the etiquettes because they really don't understand these Americans. <laughs> oh, my God. So, so I don't know. So we started kind of discussing, you know, about, you know, how to rent food and, and stuff, you know, it's hilarious. And we just had a lot of fun and, you know, rewriting the script for that reason. <laughs> oh my God. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. Um, and she, she'd do that from the makeup chair, you know, she'd just, uh, we'd all be in the makeup trailer together. And, you know, that's what, you know, all the best. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Including Ron Williams. You know, there's a kind of the main makeup trailer with all the makeup artists and everyone just comes in and they for their call time and they sit there and got the bib around them and you know everyone's chatting and <laughs> you're learning your lines and you're passing things around and someone might have made cookies and uh <laughs> you know that's just how it should be and it's wonderfully leveling and um just had the best time, the best time and Gary Marshall, of course, is just a genius and so much fun. Mm -hmm. And I think Julie and I might have bonded on a couple of things, which is, you know, he's, again, he loves improvising. And he actually had two guys on set who wrote jokes. And they were called Marty and Marty. <laughs> were the two Martys. Okay. And they had little, and they would write like this. And then they would, take off a joke and hand it to Gary. And if mm. Gary liked the joke, he would call over the camera and say, oh, you know, his Brooklyn accent, which I cannot do, say this. And he'd say the joke. And you'd suddenly have to, you're in the middle of a scene and suddenly you'd kind of stop and you'd listen and you'd go, oh, and then you'd go into the joke. And if it worked, it worked. If not, it would go, yeah, I'm going to <laughs> uh, but of course, you know, I'm doing an American, you know, I'm doing an American accent as well. So I'm I kind of having to, you know, and you have to, you know, accents, of course, can become second nature, but there are vowel sounds you have to kind of just be careful of. And of course, if you haven't necessarily rehearsed it and someone comes in with something, you might, you know, be out mm -hmm. slightly on your accent. So so all of those things, um, a myriad stories. He, he could shoot till three o'clock in the morning. Um, we are all Scorpios, me, Anne, and Julie Andrews. And we all had birthdays within a week of each other. And oh. there were so many cakes, and also crew, of course, <laughs> cakes parading in and out every day. <laughs> and it was two or three o'clock in the morning. And I remember it was the scene, I think with Sandra Oh, I have this memory of um, being in the headmistress's office. Um, and I remember Julie being there. Now I have no idea if we we're both in the scene or what was going on, but I just remember this room. And um, we were there and it was really late. Ju Julie, you know, really tired. And uh, she turned around, she said, not another cake, please, not another cake. <laughs> because we heard happy birthday. <laughs> please, no more, she no says, more cakes. <laughs> And then she just went, Gary, you know what I'd really like for my birthday? To go home. Ah. <laughs> Give me this wrapped. gift, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she That's sounds hilarious. great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Just wonderful. There are a thousand stories on that. Oh. Yeah, just...